Hello friends and welcome back to another video. Okay, so the first Heartstopper part one, uh, episode one, season one that I uploaded it took forever for me to be able to upload it because YouTube wanted to block it. But I got it approved, so we're gonna keep going with this series and hopefully no more videos get blocked. Um, but I disputed it because it's a reaction video. Blah, blah, blah. You do not care about this. But yeah. So hopefully we can watch the rest of both seasons before season three comes out together. Got my... Got my Heartstopper shirt on. Cute. I did buy both of them from the collection, but yeah. We're repping this one today. We're gonna get right into it because I'm not gonna take any more time to chat. Um, I don't think I have a lot to say about this, so it's just gonna be probably, like, number one. Um, but yeah, it's just gonna be a lot of rambling, so come join me for some rambling. <laughs> We're matching Charlie again. I've just accepted the big chunky headphones, I think. We've all Instagram stalked somebody we had a crush on. Right? I have a meme like this. I'll put it on the screen. Meow. 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 I'm gonna have one ear out because I can't hear my thoughts. <laughs> People said that to me. They're like, we don't want to be in the changing room with her because she's probably looking at us. I ain't looking at you. Struggle with my own problems. <laughs> I look. But be worrying about what you look like. Period. And that's on Period. periodic table, sis. Charlie. <laughs> These shots are so cool. Hold on. I don't know what's happening. Hello? Kikona. <laughs> what is happening? No. 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 BRB. Uh, technical difficulties. Sorry, Netflix decided to crash for some reason, so I'm not gonna start over. We're just gonna start where we were at. No, I'm not feeling okay. How about you? I love this song. From the street, I see your window, and I look up in. Say that even your house is that Sappho you read Why are we lying? Nelly's like he's lying. <laughs> I wonder if Kit had to get, like, associated with the dog before they started shooting. Probably not. But she just loves him. Or they shot these scenes later. Don't sit in a message. It gives me so much anxiety. Don't do that. Don't do what Nick is doing. This outfit's so cute. If there's something that Heartstopper Cass is going to do, it's give face. You want to be in Heartstopper? You got to give face. How many times do you, do you think they had to shoot the texting scenes because, like, they mistyped something? I think about that all the time. Like, unsend. <laughs> I really like how they shot this. So I am. Um, and I like that this gives us a flashback so we get to see them. I was really brave. Well, it wasn't really my. I don't like so when people say out. stuff like this. It's not like. No one was supposed to know. It's like no a backwards brave, compliment. No negativity. Like it shouldn't be brave to love who you I love. So. Also, he puts up with the negativity because he has to. I'm bad. I don't know. Also, it's really brave, and then he's like, I like you, and blah, 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 and they start having a thing, but he's so mean to him. Like, I don't, <sighs> I don't get it. <laughs> also, a couple, I've seen a couple people say um, that Nick, like, is overreacting. He can't believe he's, like, saying he would, he's, like, saying don't ever talk to him again, and that he hates him, and that he'd kick his ass if he came near Charlie again. Like, They've been friends for a couple of months now, right? Like, I think it's pretty normal. Yes, it's only episode two, but I'm pretty sure they've... 
podcast nigga be straight. Uh. Love heart. This makes it seem like Nick just doesn't answer or whatever, but then they stay up all night talking to each other, so. I also hate that it says double tap to heart and then he doesn't do it. Like, just do it. <laughs> I've noticed you haven't made many friends in your form. Group. Imagine if a teacher came up to you and said, I've noticed you haven't made many friends. I'm fine. Figure it out. I could assign You're making me kind of sad. <laughs> no, no, I'm fine. I promise. I don't want to bother anyone. Okay, look, it's half term next week. How about you promise me you'll try or maybe to make I just one new friend? I haven't had good teachers. Okay. I don't care. I don't maybe. know. I think it's strange that she's telling her that, but I like this song too. I saw a girl in red open up until the second. I'm that weird person that has paused every scene of this so I could read it all. It's cute. He's straight, Charlie. Like you. This is how people are in school, though. They they're like you can tell when people's straight, when people are straight, and when people are gay. Ginormous heterosexual. And bisexual people exist. So you need to get over him. You know, Tao's hair is not that bad if he has a beanie on, but when he doesn't, it does look not great. Mr. Ajay. Charlie Spring. I have a question. Well, I am officially a beacon of learning, so fire away. How do I stop liking someone, specifically a straight guy? Uh, a question, question for the, for the ages. ages. I thought you had a boyfriend. No, no, he was horrible. This is someone else. Wow. Being a teenager is terrible. That's what you do. You, know, when you just repress it. And, and then they act like they like you too, and they like do flirty it, things, so and then you're like, what is going on? healthy. Mm. No, this may seem obvious. Big solutions. He's he's a really good friend. I'm afraid you're just gonna have to suffer then. Not from period. So yeah. Wait, look. Oh. So Tara, Tara said, said you had, had no friends. I don't say that. Monster much? <laughs> I like that they don't no. discuss I mean, the transgender aspect of it like they don't hide it obviously but they don't really talk about it like they just it's so normal and that's how every sexuality gender everything should be have you been finding it any better here yeah there's my hot take not a hot take it's just that's how it should be oh my god she's so cute i wish i had a dog my parents don't like animals what parents don't like animals what people don't like animals every on saturday yeah i think so for you, anything. Pretty Converse. I love this outfit. It's one of my favorites of the season. Taos. She's so nosy. I love her. <laughs> no, his his name's Nick. Concern. Is my hair too short? It looks, it looks the same. But is it okay? It looks, it looks the same. The same. Wow. Thanks. Great. Thanks. <laughs> Have fun at Nick's. It does look the same. To be fair. One thing Joe and Charlie Spring have in common. Always messing with their hair. <laughs> Apparently it was really hot on this day. So that he's wearing so many layers and it was really hot out. I swear when it's cold they dress for summer. And then when it's hot they dress for winter. It's in every interview I think Joe talks about how he's either hot or cold in a scene. And that's what he remembers from it. I remember it was really hot. It was so warm. And it was freezing because there's no heating. The case under my lips was I was so cold it was just like shaking and shivering. You got a haircut. The way he I picks mean, his hair up. Is it? Is it bad? You look. No. It looks no, great. You look. It looks great. I like that. That's like the first time that he almost like slips up. Although I don't think it would have been weird to say you look great. Do oh, a uh, heart shopper like cast meetup, and yeah. Yeah. you I'm should be able to pay to no. play Mario Kart against them. Yes. And I would I do that. You're just good at everything. No, I'm not. You are. You're a proper little nerd. I'm not. Let's see. You're good at video games. Literally all school subjects, but especially Special. maths. Playing the drums. Befriending. Giving adults. face again. And you are good at sports. Like, you run so fast. Shut, Shut up. up. <laughs> I panicked the first time I saw that. <laughs> when it's the first snow, that's how I react. And then when it's been four months of snowing, I'm over it. He's got so many layers on. 
a t-shirt, a flannel, a jumper, and then a coat. Poor Jalak. <laughs> so, I think this is like... After like the hundredth time of watching this, I can now not cry at this. Um, but it's one of my favorite scenes. It's so beautiful. The music's just so pretty. It's shot beautifully. The snow actually looks real versus when you see the rain in the rain machine. Like, it doesn't really look real. I also have a behind the scenes video of this that I will put in of it not in slow motion and it's really funny. They said this was a really fun day too. Why do I want to cry now? I'm feeling fragile. <laughs> I also love the animation here. It's cute. Like something boy. nick and kit have in common uh, he's drinking too. a couple months ago uh, he's in my form very british of them it's very different to your other friends isn't he you seem much more yourself around him parents that care notice you things you do sarah who are you texting your mom? Why is she so nosy? I hated Imogen in this season, just so everybody knows. Who are you texting? Don't. So why is she the only girl? On, the I haven't. God. She's bound to have a crush on one of them. He's definitely chirping someone. And he deletes it. The pressure of friends and popularity. High school. Give him face again. I'm Tao. So, so, we're doing well. We're doing well. Don't pretend you have any idea you know what's going on. Well, which end are we supposed to be getting the ball to? Just here for some more support. So at this Nick point, Nick is 16 and Charlie's 14 still and he's going to be 15 well, soon, whatever. Like, he's in It's been girl. three he's years single, since this kiss single. happened with Tara and him and they haven't talked really what? since. So the fact that this and is like Tara a thing, Jones. like it's been three years and his friends are like, yeah, he's in love with her. Also, the fact that Nick can tell something's wrong with Charlie right away. I will forever make fun of their stupid little waves. <laughs> Love them though. As your token straight friend, it's my duty to remind you that sometimes people are straight. straight. It's an unfortunate, an unfortunate fact, fact of life. life. But we don't know True. if she actually likes Nick back. Isaac, I've already warned you about encouraging Charlie's crushes on straight boys. But I want to believe in romance. <laughs> So there's this girl at Higgs who apparently Nick's got a crush on. Confirmed from multiple sources. But we don't know if they're actually a thing. So can you talk to her? Because she's in your year at school. Charlie literally won't. Probably looks so cute here. Oh my gosh. Until we know for sure. Oh my god, be quiet. She's mom. Okay. These are her children. Slowly. Can you ask her if she likes Nick Nelson? Nick, Nick Nelson. Nelson. You might as well give up right now. It's the straightest person, person I've ever, ever seen. seen. Okay, so like this and scene kind of reminds me of how even if you are different and in the majority of the different, you can still fall into stereotypes. Like, L is transgender, but still kind of stereotype thinks that Nick is the straightest person. Just based off of looks. If and only if I get the chance, I'll ask her. Thank you. I make no promises. Good pug. Oh. Tao. Come on. I'm sorry, they play these characters so well. No. For best friends, anyone could have. I was always last pick. Oh my god, yes, please. Or never picked, and then I just sit alone. Or join a group of two or three. See. I think saying un makes it feminine, so you'd be saying you have a girlfriend. what? And right here, confirm my suspicions. Although I had already read the book, so. I'm definitely straight. Like, I only like girls. You should probably stop being friends if you feel like that. Charlie. People that care notice. That? And I will keep saying that. Do you want to come Nick Nelson and Sarah Nelson. 
I'm sorry if I've got totally the wrong idea here, but are you two, like, dating? So she's like, it's up to you if you want to tell her. <laughs> <laughs> You've befriended the school lesbians. <laughs> yes, lesbians! Hey. Hey. Oh, the last time I watched this, I noticed they have really weird door handles in um, the UK. Me trying to play any Terrible. instrument. Confirms suspicions that he has crush. The way he looks. Dad. Terrible. They're a pro now. <sighs> also, their outfits are so cute. Oh, that's, that's probably cheating. There. Probably cheating. <laughs> Theory on this scene. So I don't think that Nick was ever actually going to hold Charlie's hand. Um, I think that he was just trying to see if he felt anything. And that's why we see the an animations of like Sparks when he goes to put his hand over his. Um, I think he's just trying to confirm like that he does actually feel things for Charlie. Um, because Nick respects boundaries. He would never do anything without Charlie's consent. So I don't think he was actually ever going to hold his hand. But let me know your take on the scene in the comments below. Also, who sleeps like this? <laughs> Not me. You look so cuddly like that. All right, then go give him a cuddle. Do I? Yeah. Nick Nelson's love language. Hugs, cuddles, physical touch. So cute. And get panic. <laughs> um, <clears throat> okay. See, See you Monday. Monday. I, I don't think he's straight. straight. I also saw a theory that since Tori's always watching and like around, maybe she saw Nick hold his hand above Charlie's, uh, but isn't going to tell Charlie because it's not her place. I love this song too. I've also watched a bunch of people react to this for the first time and they just like giggle at like the end of this to the beginning of the next um, episode, but it just makes me sad. Birthday party. I want all these photos. Give me access to both of their phones so I can have all the photos they took for the show. Please and thank you. We just had. He should wear this color more often. He looks very good in it. Okay, so this is where the show became super relatable for me um, because of Nick. I do relate way more to Charlie than Nick, but him struggling to figure out his sexuality at such a young age. Um, I was like 12 when I realized um, that I wasn't straight. And I didn't figure out my sexuality till I was like 20, 19, 20. But I went through this whole thing of like searching things and trying to figure it out. Um, but we had a family shared uh, desktop and yeah, I <laughs> Googled, am I gay or am I a lesbian? How do I know if I'm a lesbian? Whatever. Um, and took the BuzzFeed quiz and those quizzes are just pretty much straightforward to tell you that you are. But so I really felt the scene and I deleted all history so nobody could find out what I was doing. But yeah, that's why it makes me emotional. Also, his freckles. That is episode two. Uh, yeah, it's just a cute episode. Although, the first time I watched it, like I said, I cried multiple times. I laid right here on this couch, had my phone in my face, and was sobbing. Um, but yeah, it definitely holds a place in my heart, too. Season one is just one of those things that just like, bring me back to the first time I watched it.
But anyways, I'm not going to make this too long because it's already going to be long, probably. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see me on any other social media, it will be down in the description below. And um, episode three will hopefully come sooner, sooner, either later this week or um, next week, at the beginning of next week. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Bye!